What's going on guys? Welcome back to another How I Would Have Made It video. So today we're going to be talking about how I would have made Spider-Man 3 on the PS1? Wait, what? This was requested, of course, by Zaid. Uh, so this was a hard one to make because this isn't like a movie. This isn't like a TV show. This is video game. So I kind of had to think over some things. Uh, I didn't really know how to do this one. This one was a little bit of a, of a trick. Uh, but I think I figured it out. Uh, and I'm... I'm Put it blunt. Uh, please don't ask me for for video games to do unless unless they might actually be good. I'm just saying. I mean, this one is you know interesting. I would have liked to see how a uh, see a Spider-Man three for the PS one type of game. That would have been kind of cool based off of what I made here. But please don't ask me for any you know random ass games that I don't know about because there are some games that I flat out have never played. And there are some games that I flat out who have, um, you know, like, I don't know. Just, just please. Love of God, don't. <laughs> please don't. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with this. So let's talk about the story first. Um, all right. So, so the villains from the last two games uh, ha have banded together to take control over the city and destroy Spider-Man once and for all. So that's the plot. That that that's 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 the whole thing. That's that's the basic plot of the whole thing. You got the main you got villains from the last two games coming back, coming out, of, breaking out of prison to finally take down Spider Man. But that's the plan, right? Uh, but I do have a plot twist. I like think I'll get to the plot twist actually in a little bit. So let's talk about characters. Who's going to be in this game? Obviously, of course, Spider Man, main character. Who else? I want MJ to be back in this. I, I like that. I, I missed her from the second game. She wasn't in the second game. She was in the first game, though. Uh, I'll have Venom in here because I missed Venom. Uh, JJ because I missed JJ. They didn't. Ha they didn't have MJ, JJ, Venom. They didn't have them. It's weird. They didn't have Punisher either. I'm gonna actually bring Punisher in here too. And Daredevil. I bring Daredevil back. Was Daredevil in the second game? No, it wasn't. The X Men were. Uh, Beast was in it, and uh, Professor X was in it, and Jean Grey was in it. Was that Jean Grey? Or, no, that was Rogue. Man, I always get I always they they it's pixels, so sometimes I get confused. But um, but yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's talk about villains because I think obviously villains are important. I'll also be going over some of the boss fights and what the boss fights would be like. So Craven, Craven, I want I want to be the first boss fight. Craven's going to be the big. The big boss opener type thing. Obviously, he's not going to be the first level, but he's going to be a couple levels through. Uh, he's going to be the first boss for Spider-Man. And then the second boss is going to be the Beetle. Remember the Beetle from Spider-Man 2 where he just was there and then he left? <laughs> you never actually got to fight him. Uh, so yeah, I want a boss fight with Beetle probably after like a little bit of a chase sequence. Uh, that I think that would be kind of cool. Uh, Rhino. I want Rhino to be a boss fight, but this is this might blow your guys' minds, right? The boss fight with Rhino is going to be between, not Spider-Man and Rhino, it's going to be between Venom and Rhino. Yes, you will get to play as Venom in this game. This game, I uh, have thought about it for a while. I really wanted you to play as different types of characters uh, in this universe, in this type of game. So I really wanted to... Uh, make this again bigger and better than the last two games obviously also because this is just make-believe uh scorpion scorpion will also be a venom boss fight i will have Ve rhino and scorpion be a boss fight against venom so you get to play as venom during the story in certain sequences uh, i think that would be really cool i think that'd be great um shocker uh i will have shocker as a boss fight too but now this is also going to probably blow your guys' minds it's going to be between Shocker and Daredevil. Yes, Daredevil will be playable, but you have to beat the game 
to unlock the like a little daredevil like story like like what daredevil was doing obviously get to see daredevil in the main story but we also get to see like what he was doing while spider-man and venom were busy right we get to see what, what was going on there so i think that would be kind of cool i i'd probably make it like less than half of like like it would be like a little bit of a game mode like you, like you know it's it's not super story filled it's just you know mostly you just playing as daredevil fighting certain bosses or certain characters um I, I that would be kind of cool shocker versus daredevil that'd be an interesting fight uh and then electro i will bring back electro i i really i really liked the electro boss fight at the very end of the second game i thought that was cool because you had to be a little bit creative you had to make him uh, you know, zap certain things to get him stunned so you could punch him, uh, because he just wouldn't, you couldn't touch him type of thing. Uh, I kind of like referencing, referencing the original, um, I kind of wish he used the, uh, the, those gloves, the, the electrical gloves he wore to find, to punch Electro. Those, that, that was, that was great. Uh, I'm not going to do that, obviously. I'll probably do so I would probably do something else, but, uh, I want another fight with Electro and Spider-Man. Maybe one that's not too easy, but not too hard either. Something that's good, right in the middle, uh, for a regular fight type of thing. Um, let's see, what else? Mysterio. I'll bring back Mysterio. I'll, I'll have it with Spider-Man again. Um, I liked the Mysterio boss fight in the first game. It was a little weird, but... You know, because he's just like a giant all of a sudden. But, you know, it's cool. Uh, probably change that one up a bit. Uh, Hammerhead. So I'm bringing back Hammerhead. But with Hammerhead, it's it's going to be the exact same thing. I'm going to have Hammerhead versus the Punisher. Yeah. <laughs> Hammerhead versus the Punisher. You also get to play as Punisher. You get to play as Venom. You get to play as Daredevil. You get to play as Punisher. You're gonna have four playable characters in this game. Okay, how's that sound? You loving this so far? Cause I sure am. All right, and then obviously we'll have Doc Ock as another boss fight for Spider-Man around the ending. But this is, this is what I waited for: the plot twist. So this is the plot twist. So I wanted to have a plot twist in the story in the middle of the game. So. All right, so check this out. This one, this one might excite you guys. This one might be a little. This one might be considered a cop out. Y your your take on this? So, the plot twist is Doc Ock brings Spider Carnage from another dimension. Yes, the last boss fight will be Spider Man versus Spider Carnage. I know that sound that that that's a little you know like what. Uh, but, you know, I really like the, uh, the, the little Spider-Verse thing, or the Spider-Verse saga, or whatever they called it, again, I forgot, with the Spider-Man the Animated Series, where the big bad guy was Spider-Carnage, and then he had, like, five different Spider-Men, which I thought was cool. Um, but yeah, I think, yes, final boss fight, Spider-Man versus Spider-Carnage. Uh, and I would have him have some of your, some of your old moves, uh, like, the, the punching and the kicking, because obviously, again, you're basically fighting yourself. I've always liked those kind of, I've always, I've always liked those kind of stories of you versus yourself kind of stories. I thought those were always, always cool, always interesting, uh, you know, because it's the idea of you are your own worst enemy. Like, that, that's always, like, one of my favorite taglines for those types of fights. So, so that's cool. Um, I hope you guys like that. There is some combat. Let's get to the actual gameplay of this game. So, obviously, I know that this is a PlayStation 1 game. This is not a Spider-Man PS4. This is not a Spider-Man 2. Okay, so I have to kind of simplify it a bit. So, what I decided to do was add in an extra 5-hit combo. So, so, you can not only hit 3 times with punches but with kicks too. So you can do combinate you can do more combinations with your kicking and your punching. You can do like one, two, three kicks, and then you can go into like a one, two for your punching, which would be a, a different cool looking combo. Uh obviously another reason why I wanted to make this game unique is because we're gonna have Venom, we're gonna have Daredevil Punisher, we're gonna have that type of gameplay. So therefore I wanted to, you know, add some variety by having different characters. I thought that was the best way to you know, make this one different from the last two games, make this one a little bit more fun. Uh, 
But yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have for this. Uh, I mean, I can sit, I I could sit here and go over, you know, level design, and I could sit here and go over like, you know, the runtime. I could sit here and go over all these different types of things, but I knew that would take too long. Uh, I know that you might, you all might yell at me and say, Mike, it's only been 10 minutes, but you know, it's, if I did that, I'd be sitting here forever. So I wanted to go over the basics of how I would have made this, this game. Uh, this is, again, the video game department, I'm going to say it right now. Now, now that I, that's it, by the way, I've, I've completed my, uh, my, my thoughts about how I would have made this one. So Final thoughts, final things I need to say. Uh, video games, I don't really want to do too much uh, as far as like how I would have made it. I'm going to say this right now because I just don't think it's a good idea because I'll sit here forever then because I'll have to talk about game design. I'll have to talk about you know combat styles. Like I know this is going to get worse. So let's just stick to movies, please, or like TV shows because this is the type of thing where it's like, this is more than a movie. This is more than a TV show. This is you're talking about combat. You're talking about characters, gameplay. You're talking about level design, how it controls. Like like this one's easier because again, it's just based off of the last two games. So I'm just adding on to it or doing more with this. But let's try not to do video games in the future, please. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know this one was a little bit of a of a straightforward video. I didn't want to make it too uh, too long or too edited up. I just wanted to straightforward get this one done. I got a bunch more stuff that people are requesting, so I want to get those done. I want to get back to some video games. We're going to play some video games soon. Uh, I have a very special, cool announcement that I will not announce. I'll just show you guys when I finally get these videos done. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. This one was, uh, like I said, this one was a bit of a challenge because I had to sit down and actually think about this for a long period of time because uh, this is something that is very different compared to a movie because a movie is like a story and characters and plot, whereas the game, the game, it kind of is the same thing except you have combat and you have you have to fit, you have to visualize what the combat's going to be and you have to visualize how the levels are going to be. And if I had to sit here and tell you how levels would be, it would be insane, okay? Like, like we would be here all day because there's a lot of levels. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out of here, up, up, and away. See you guys.